Hello there, Diesel Johnny Boy here, just to talk to you a little bit more about hydraulic ram pump. I had a few doubting Thomases that are calling into validation some of my ram pump experiments. So I've set up this new experiment to totally dispel some of the people that have um, sort of criticised my ram pump demonstrations. Let me just firstly say, I'm only a bit of, having a bit of fun, it's just a bit of fun. I built this little ram pump for my daughter. I'm just going to go over the component parts for everybody one more time here. So come in Kath, bring the, bring the camera in a bit closer. We're just going to go through the little bits on the RAM pump, right? Okay. The RAM pump is a very simple device and it's used for pumping water using the, the hammer, water hammer effect. So basically, this is a small three quarter inch model. Can you get in there closer? Look at the bits. I'm just going to go, there's, there's, there's only two moving parts on a RAM pump. Right, so basically the water I'm, I'm using a drum up here by the way, I'm using a water drum, uh, just a 50 gallon drum of water with some 20 mil poly pipe coming in here. Can you see the poly pipe? Yeah. That's my input. So this would be the stream. Imagine your stream, this is tapped into your stream, so your stream water is diverted into this pipe. It comes into here. Here we are. This is, this is basically a, a swing check valve, which you can buy basically from a plumber shop. It's a very simple component part, I'll just quickly whiz it off and show you it. If you can see the side here, can, we, can you see that? It's just a swing check valve basically, you've got to have it so the, the door hangs down. It's basically a non-return valve anyway. So that screws on there like that. All these parts, this one's made out of um, three quarter inch iron. So there we go, if you just, can, you, can we look down inside there, can you see inside there? Yeah, there we are. There's your swing check valve in there. So basically, water comes in here. This is a, a non-return valve. This is a ball non-return valve. It's basically a, a nylon plastic ball that goes up and down. It it seats on a little rubber seat in there. So when the as, as the water comes in here, the pressure of the water rushes in here. It's and it slams this valve shut here. Instant for a split second, this valve is shut. <clears throat> the water then. There's a quite a bit of pressure built on it's forced up the non-return valve and it comes up into this i've used a just a plastic one and a half litre bottle or one litre plastic bottle this is my pressure vessel so the water is forced up the non-return valve and of course this, this is under quite a bit of pressure though this one's i've been running it so the water's forced up into here non-return valve the ball drops down so the water cannot get anywhere you have got to tap up here and then this is happening over and over again. This is a very important part just here. Can you get in close here? This is a little tiny drilled hole just below the non-return valve. It's got to be below the non-return valve. This is your snifter valve. Can you see that on there all right? A tiny drilled hole. It's got a little pin in it just to stop it getting blocked up with debris from the stream. This sucks in a small amount of air which keeps this from getting waterlogged. Otherwise the water would just build up in here. So it sucks a little bit of air on each stroke. You'll see it as I will operate the machine. Um, up here we've just got a tap up here so the water builds up pressure in here and is forced down this way. That one I've got this turned off. Anyway, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna fire the little boost up and you can see it running. Here's my reservoir up here. As you can see, this is lower than my outlet pipe. My outlet pipe is a half inch hose pipe going up and over the gutter up there. I'm gonna turn her on. I'm going to look at this now. Here's the pump opening and shutting, swing check valve opening and shutting. Can you get over and look at that? See that? Now, this is this is really tight now. You can see some little minute air bubbles coming up here. Now, can you get in on that? There's some little air bubbles. You, I don't know if you can see them, but it only needs a few little air bubbles. That stops us getting waterlogged. The pressure is building up here. It's quite tight now. This is actually really tight. I'm going to turn her on now. Get ready to look up there. There we go, there's a bit of a surge at first. Can you see that okay? Up there we can see there's a good stream of water coming out the top. We can get the camera on it. There we are, I hope you can see that. Now that, that there is quite a bit higher than the drum over here. 
you can see that, I'll just zoom out a minute. There's my drum up there. There's the pipe coming back round here. Going to the round pump. There's the round pump operating. There's my outlet just with a garden home. Up the side of the house. And there it is. It's quite a bit higher. I mean, it's not massively high because I can't go much higher. But you can see the water. There's a good stream of water coming out of there. And remember, these pumps, they run 24-7. They're just using the water, you know, free energy of water, basically. You would have this in a stream bed. Before anyone says there's a lot of water being wasted here. Yeah, the water is being wasted here. But this would be situated in a stream. This is purely for demonstration for anyone criticizes me and obviously this water this waste water will just return back into a stream there we go hydraulic round pump been around for, for many years now I think they were first invented by one of the Montgolfier brothers later improved in, in England and now you know they are actually made all over the world and actually you know in the world we live in now where energy and renewable energy and diesel and oil is very expensive you can pump water using water and there is a ready supply of water then this is the ideal bit of equipment you're just happily pumping away there Let's have another look at the spring swing, ch swing check valve as I say this is the uh, non-return valve you see a little bit of bad you can't quite see the air bubbles it's not isn't quite good enough. There's a little bit of air being sucked in, sucked in here by the little snifter valve, which is a tiny little drilled hole, like less than about a millimetre. But there she is, pumping away happily. You can see the slight rise and fall of the water there. I'll just switch her off a minute. The water rises up slightly, but there's a lot of pressure in this container. Really, if you turn her on, it'll be a bit of a surge. The water will drop. There we go. But yep, yeah, there we go. I hope that um, proves to some of the doubting Thomases that the round pump is a, an effective means for pumping water. And there we go then. I think that's about it. Any questions, email me. I'll be happy to try and answer them. But like I say, I'm not a scientist. I'm just a bit of a, a bit of an amateur having a bit of fun with technology, making these things up. Anyway, over and out for now. Bye from Diesel Johnny Boy.